What's up people, TJ here, and this is the best fried plantain recipe you'll ever have. Of course, any fried plantain recipe needs plantains. I mean, you know, that's the base item for the recipe. But we need to know how to pick them. Pick one that's too yellow and ripe, and you'll end up with sweet plantains, which requires an entirely different process to get right. But if you pick one that is too green, well, you'll encounter some, uh, <laughs> some difficulties. Don't worry though, if it's too green, let it sit another day or so and it'll be perfect. So we want to cut the plantain along the back to get a clean opening. You want to cut it about one to one and a half inches in order to get a decent sized plantain for the recipe. If you're using them to make sandwiches, you'll just need to cut the plantain about half its length. Once you're done cutting, put the plantains in a bowl and add some oil. We chose to use olive oil because of the taste it gives the plantains after they're cooked. Coat it well because we will use an air fryer for our first pass. You heard right, I said an air fryer. This is because we wanted to limit our oil frying. But if you don't wanna use an air fryer, feel free to fry these in a neutral oil for three minutes, being generally careful not to burn them. The purpose here is to cook them, not fry them. Now, once they're air fried, maybe don't touch them with your hands. What you'll wanna do is bring in a plantain flattening device. If you don't own one, don't worry, you can just use the bottom of a cup. However, if you're interested in getting one, we did link some good ones down below. Once your tostones are flattened, put them aside and start your soaking water. For this, you'll need three cups of water. We're also adding some beef bouillon flavor salt to season the water, but you can use a vegetable version also linked down below. You'll also want to splash some coconut aminos and some salt, about a pinch, and whisk it all together vigorously. Then, soak your plantains for three minutes, of course ensuring that it's well coated. Now for the frying oil, we're using vegetable oil because of its natural flavor and it is a good choice for frying, but canola or corn oil would have worked just fine. Fry your plantains on medium high until golden. With this recipe, they should be crispy at the bits and because of the hydration, they should be fluffy on the inside and well seasoned. Note that the longer you hydrate them, the fluffier they'll be. Add your sauce of choice. In this case, we're using a mustard sauce prepared for a different recipe that fits the bill perfectly. If this sauce looks enticing, let us know in the comments below and we'll make a video about it. Hope you enjoy. Hey folks, Becca here. I am not one of the cooks on this channel, but I am our professional eater. I hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. All important links are listed down below. Oh, and remember, please wash your hands. See you next time.